crucial for women to bear witness mm -hmm. and um, tell the truth. Uh, I want to talk about my grandma, essentially, because she was somebody who didn't know how to read or write, um, because girls and women weren't allowed to do that back then, uh, where I'm from, which is Sudan. And now I'm her granddaughter, and I not only graduated uh, from college, but I'm also writing, uh, and I'm writing every day, and I'm using this thing that they told us we weren't allowed to do. So when the women in my community and my family were told that they can't do something, they didn't do it, but then they raised kids and grandkids who are obsessed with it. You know, they're like, maybe we won't get you in this generation, but we'll get you in the next one and the one after that. For me, especially now when everyone is adding their voices to the pot, I feel like it's very important for women to project and speak even more because when push comes to shove, the next couple of generations aren't going to remember everything that was said, but they will remember what the women said. Women have always told truth and borne uh, witness. And I think we have to remember one of the earliest women we uh, needed to bear truth was Mary. <laughs> and Mary should have cursed, you know, Joseph out. You know, Joseph uh, had had a lot of, uh, you know, I, I want a virgin, but hell, so did she. Well, what does she get, an old man? So I, I think that, you know, she should have told him who, who he was. And I'm not really sure that Eve shouldn't have said something a little different to, to Adam, you know, all of that, you know, oh, well, you know, this is what I'm deciding, and you're turning me on. Well, it's your penis, and you ought to learn to control it. Mm -hmm. And maybe if, if, if Eve had said that, to Adam, maybe we wouldn't have some of the problems that we had. And so now what we've got is a situation of men cannot control their bodies and they're going to blame women for it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. I think it's important for women to tell the truth mm -hmm. and bear witness because for how long has our, our truth been denied or our truth been silenced? For how many years have we been taught that we have to make a fiction of our own experiences? you know, a myth of ourselves. And I think I'm primarily thinking about women of color, right? The ways in which we're taught to, to bear our pain and to bear our suffering and bear our anger as our due, as the way you're supposed to walk through the world. And what does it mean to say, I won't normalize this and I'll speak about this. And, and what permission does that give other people, right? And it's the small things that I think we know, like bearing witness to the big things, the big, atroc the big atrocities against women like that is powerful. But those small moments that hurt us, that we never talk about, that we don't realize like, oh, we all go through this.